All right. Hey guys, welcome to our pre-race camp call for the Eau Claire Marathon 2018. We are super pumped for this race. It's going to be an awesome, awesome day. Um, I want to say thank you for taking the time to be with us today as we as we chat about the logistics and the plans and allow you guys to ask some questions about the event itself. So uh, with that said, I'm going to just, um, I'm gonna make sure that everyone is just kind of muted for now. Um, and if you have any questions, uh, you can unmute yourself. Um, but uh, we'll go along here and um, through the call and um, uh, we'll leave some time at the end for questions. But uh, if there's anything that's super pressing, feel free to unmute your phone and, uh, and ask those questions. We'll also invite you to, if you're not, if you're watching this later on, it's not live, you're listening to it later on, it's not live, uh, feel free to shoot, shoot us an email. Feel free to you know, respond to that email that this goes out to. You'll get in touch with Carla, our director of operations, and um, you'll have an opportunity to ask her a bunch of questions. So, all right, so with that said, let's get into it, guys. I'm gonna share my screen a little bit here, and hopefully you can see this. All right. <clears throat> okay, so here we go, guys. Uh, 2018, we got a great picture up here of Team Don. This was from the first year that we did the Eau Claire Marathon back in 2000 and that's 16, I believe. Uh, yeah, it was 16. So, so we're coming back for the third year, biggest team we've ever had. Uh, super excited about it. Um, Don is our inspiration. Don and his family reached out to us, say, hey, uh, Don's been a runner in the race for a long period of time, um, had an accident, but wants to continue to be involved. And uh, that year, his, his son, <clears throat> Uh, formed a team together and uh, pushed him in the full marathon. So uh, just been uh, having a blast ever since. It's one of our favorite new races. Um, the race directors, Emmy, Pat, they've done a, an awesome job and just been, just been incredibly warm and welcome to us, very accommodating, anything you guys need. Um, so thank you to, to those guys for all their support. So let's get into it, guys. So what are we going to talk about today? Um, uh, first thing we're going to do is uh, jump into some introductions uh, as we start the, the call. We've got a couple of other people on the call today that you're going to see um, on race day. Um, a few tidbits about this call. Like I said, I'll, I'll have everyone muted. Um, we'll have some time at the end for Q&A. Um, but you can answer, uh, ask any questions that you may have at that point. We'll keep it to about 30 minutes. We keep it nice and short. Understand that you guys are taking time out of your work day to be with us. So we'll keep it nice and short for that. Um, but we're going to get into our, once we start, we'll get into our collective impact video, mission, vision, values, overview. Then we're going to get in the meat and potatoes of race day. What does the roster look like? What does a race day plan look like? What are some tips and tricks, especially for those of you who are new? We've got a lot of new angels and captains with us. So tips and tricks when it comes to being an angel, when it comes to being a captain that we've heard from others and found that important. Uh, we'll talk about fundraising. It's, uh, it's one of our premier events, and we've got some amazing people doing some awesome fundraising. So we're going to uh, give those people a shout out and give you guys uh, top three things that you can do to knock your fundraising out of the park. Um, race week is not too late. Let me just say it's the best time to fundraise. And then we'll leave a little bit of time for Q&A. So let's jump into it. Uh, again, I'm Christian Jensen, the executive director of My Team Triumph. Um, I will be there on race day. This is my third time being there. Year one, I was able to participate in the full with Captain Trevor. Had a blast. Loved the kid. Um, and uh, just love coming back every year. We also have on the call, Carla. <laughs> Hi! Yep. I forgot I wasn't muted. Hi. You are <laughs> muted, you are not muted. Yes, I can yeah. hear you. Yeah, go ahead and introduce yourself, Carla. 
Hi guys, I'm Carla. I am super pumped for this weekend. Uh, this will be my first time out at the Eau Claire Marathon and I've been there once before uh, in the region, just, you know, meeting some of you guys and stuff. So this is my first time at the marathon. I'm pumped. I've been following some of the media coverage you guys are getting. This is going to be the biggest marathon yet. Uh, that's what I'm reading. Uh, it's going to be awesome. I'm super pumped. Awesome. Great. Thank you, Carla. Um, I think we also have Kelly on the call. Um, impromptu, bring you yes. into the call. You with us, Kelly? Yes, I'm on the call. All right. Just go ahead and introduce yourself. Yeah. So I'm Kelly. I'm the director of developments. Like Carla, this will be my first time um, coming out to the Eau Claire Marathon for MTT purposes. I've seen the event in the past, so super excited to come visit and see it again and meet some people and. Um, yeah, if you have any questions about fundraising, I know Krishna mentioned a little bit and he'll be talking about it later, but feel free to email me or connect with me and I can help you with all things fundraising. Great. All right. Thanks, gals. Um, also, some people that you will meet if you've not out at, if you've not already met them at the training runs are some of our crew. And we'll talk a little bit more about those crew opportunities later on in the in the call today. But these are our volunteer leaders who are putting on our training runs and supporting our races in the region. Uh, these are the people that are really doing the work uh, locally. So can't do it without them. Huge shout out to our crew members. So, all right. So let's get into it. Um, we're gonna talk, we're gonna share our collective impact video next. Uh, it's just a great way to kind of uh, get the energy pumped, share some stats about 2017 season. So let's enjoy this video. Love it. Uh, there's so much heart that goes into this work. You know, we are trying to create a movement at My Team Triumph. We're trying to build this inclusive community uh, around endurance athletics. And um, so much of it is really a team aspect. It's about bringing people with diverse abilities together through this teamwork approach of endurance athletics. It's fun, it's challenging, and it requires everyone, no matter what your ability level is, to cross that finish line, which is really off, which is really what we're trying to communicate. In fact, just a start line. And so a little bit about our vision, mission, and values. So our, our end goal, what we're ultimately striving for is to create this community which embraces, celebrates, and empowers those with diverse abilities. I often talk about my friend Joey, who's a captain with us, one of our ambassadors, and he challenges me to use the word uh, people who are differently abled versus people who are have disabilities. 
and um, and that's ultimately what we're trying to do. So, uh, so that's our vision. Our mission is really how we go about doing that, and that's really to enrich the well-being of individuals with diverse abilities uh, through building these impactful relationships within these events that we do. The relationships are the beginning. It's really the start. You know, we can't have a inclusive community unless we have a inclusive mindset. And so we have to develop relationships with people of different walks of life, different upbringings, different beliefs, different experiences. And that really helps broaden our horizons and help us to be more understanding of where people are coming from. Um, but it also helps us understand that everyone has value no matter what we see on the surface. So, so that's really what we're trying to do with the relationship building. And then of course our values are fellowship, commitment, safety, integrity, and collaboration. All right, let's get into the roster, guys. The first thing I want to mention is this is a record-breaking roster. We've exceeded our, go our goals on the captain and angel side for this event, so we are super pumped about that. So I want to go through the roster really quick here because we've got a big team. Um, first of all, we've got uh, the half marathon. These are all alphabetical. Uh, we've got Team Brendan, uh, who's going to be with Carly, uh, Shayna, Heather, Sandy for the half marathon. Next, we have Chaley, who's going to be with Caitlin, Lauren, and Monica, also half marathoners. Team Don, who's a relay. Um, Don is a selfie monster. That's all I got to say. Uh, but he's got a great team, a lot of returners for this. Uh, Amy, uh, his son Jason, John, Kelly, Tim, Gregory, Nicole, Zach, and Dustin, who's going the entire full with the team. Um, also returning captain for this race is Captain Jaden. Uh, she's going to be uh, with Kate, uh, Carly, uh, Janine, Shannon, and Tiana for the event. Uh, next, we have uh, Captain Joseph, who's going to be with Marina, Amy, Camille, Julia, and Matthew, half marathoners. Uh, we have Leela next for the half marathon. She's going to be with Danielle, Natalie, and Samantha as angels. Um, also joining us all the way from Green Bay is Captain Mary, one of our most diehard captains that we have, our first captain. They're really the inspiration for us to start the organization. Side note, Mary's also doing the Door County Half Marathon the day before. So <laughs> she's kind of crazy. Uh, trust me, she really is. Uh, but she's doing the Half Marathon with Dana, Jeremy, Maggie, Mariah. Um, I know Mary very well. So, so guys, a um, few things. One, Mary loves chips and she loves to talk. So bring your chips and bring your lungs. <laughs> uh, you're going to have a great time. So uh, next we have Captain Melanie who's doing the half. She's going to be with uh, Ashley, Katie, uh, Kayla, and Trisha. Sierra is, is with the half. She's with Ari, Gabby, Claire. Um, good team of three gals there. Uh, and last but not least, we have Captain Trevor, who I mentioned earlier uh, was the captain of the full width in 2016. He's going to be with Gina, J uh, Jeremy, um, and Nicole and Jason. Awesome, guys. So that's our roster. Like I said, it's, it's record-breaking. We want to keep growing it every single year. So uh, thank you guys for joining us for the season, for this race. Let's talk a little bit about the race day plan next. So this is our timeline. This is our schedule of events that we that we have for the for the event weekend itself. So um, Carla just popped on here. Uh, so we're going to go through this together uh, with you guys. Um, on the screen we have kind of how the day starts on Sunday, but we also want to mention a couple other things. So <clears throat> we will be at the expo on Saturday. We're going to be there. Um, you know, starting early, setting up, and then we'll be there all the way until five o'clock. So if you'd like to come and join us, come and visit us at the expo, we're going to have a booth, uh, booth there. Um, but we're also going to have a pre-race meeting. 
uh, which is we've done this before. We're going to meet on a second level of the um, of the you know the area where they're having the expo. There's a little track that goes that goes above that space, and we're going to meet in the corner on the north side over by the bleachers. And we're going to have uh, a little meal. We're going to talk about race day. Just give everyone a chance to meet one another before we are there bright and early on Sunday. And Carla, that's at noon, correct? Yep, from 12 to 1, we'll be doing that. So if you have any little ones in the kids' race then, uh, around 2.30, 3 o'clock, you should be free to go, and we'll all cheer on the kiddos. There we go. Yeah, we'll definitely be done before that. Yep. Mm -hmm. But again, that's just a great opportunity for you to uh, meet your team members, enjoy some fellowship, have some fun, get to know them beforehand. So uh, again, that's going to be on the, on the upper level, um, near the north side of the expo. Yep. Uh, just look for us in our red shirts, and we'll be there. It's, uh, it's the McPhee Center, right? Yep, McPhee Center. Center. You'll see us. I'll be the one doing this. Yes. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, so expo's on Saturday. Um, we are, I should also mention, we're all going to work to do a training run on Thursday night over at Blue Ox. So I'll be coming into town on Thursday. Um, so if you're interested, we'll put out some more information to you guys on our Facebook group. Um, love for you guys to join us. Love to get a couple of captains out there and uh, to just get pumped about race day. So hopefully the weather will be nice for that. Um, all right, so let's fast forward to the race day itself. So <clears throat> like I mentioned, this is one of our premier events. So this is gonna be new. So if you've done a race with us before, you are going to show up to something different. <laughs> uh, so so uh, we have, uh, if you've shown up before, you've seen our big truck and you see our chairs that are out and, and you know, our little tent. Uh, we have, um, we call it something else, but we have a big tent uh, that we have uh, acquired. And it is something you will not miss. So trust me. You'll see it. Yeah. If you show up to the area and you're like, where is my team triumph? you're blind. Okay. Right. Just look in the sky. Let me say that. <laughs> so it's just a big white tent with our big logo on it. Um, but <clears throat> we're going to fill that tent. So what's cool about that is we're going to have our swag shop where you can get cool gear. We're going to have food from festival foods. We're going to have coffee. Um, this is for everyone. This is for yes. our runners, our captains, our angels, our family members. We are doing this because we want to create this environment where everyone feels really welcome and, and can help build these connections. Yep. This tent is the center place of, of just the energy and the experience around uh, race day. And so it's a great place, families, for you guys to hang out during the race. We'll have tables and chairs, um, uh, just a lot of stuff that you guys can do. Of course, it's within the kind of finishing village. So there's music and stuff going on. It's going to be just steps away from the finish line. So you can zip over there and see, you know, your friends, uh, family crossing the finish line. Um, but it'll be awesome. We're super excited. This is our first time doing our premier events. And um, <clears throat> we're, we're anxiously excited to have it put, put, it, put it under our belt. Uh, we had a little practice last night putting up our, our new tent, and uh, let's just say we're still refining the process. <laughs> um, but uh, it's, it's, it's cool. We, we are, we're excited about it. Um, and so our premier events, we have one in each region. This is our first uh, that we've ever done, and then we're going to continue this throughout the season. Uh, and that that tent will will come with so look yep. for the tent look for the truck tent. you know big tent, big tent. <laughs> um, big giant tent. absolutely get ready to buy some swag. Like about the premier experience yeah just um i love being able to uh get gear in your guys hands i'm a gear junkie uh when i show up at Ex expos i love you know getting that swag and so uh, just come ready to do some shopping uh, it's a great time to get yourself stocked up on some great My Team Triumph gear, uh, friends and family as well. We love when they are supportive and wearing our stuff all around. Uh, you'll also have a, an athlete area uh, where you can kind of stretch out and roll out before your big race. Um, again, the food before and after. Uh, gear check. Don't have to worry about where you're going to leave your stuff and how far away your car is parked. 
bring all your gear with. We'll keep an eye on it uh, the entire race for you. And again, just please feel free to invite your family and all of your friends. This is a great meeting place for everybody. We can't get, you know, we can't wait to get to know all of you and all of your families as well. And um, this just, we're just gonna have a great party. It's gonna be awesome. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be great. Yeah. And the weather is going to be awesome. Again, like the third year in a row. Um, it'll be a little cool in the morning, but it's going to be sunny. It'll be in the 60s, I think. So uh, just could not be better weather for yeah. me. And we are pumped that the Eau Claire Marathon is our first premier event. Um, like Christian said, we are anxious and excited about how this is all going to work. Um, <laughs> there's a few moving parts, but Eau Claire is just rocking right now. You guys are awesome. And we couldn't think of a better race to kind of start this out with. Yep. Perfect. Okay. So let's go over the timeline for race day guys. So, um, <clears throat> so volunteers were asking you guys to arrive a little earlier. Uh, this is so that we can get all of this stuff put together, right? So, so this is for our staff. This is our crew. These are our volunteers. About five o'clock in Carson Park, um, so that you can again. We'll put the chairs together. We'll already have the tent set up, but we're going to get all the kind of details put together. Um, so there's a lot of work to do. Look for the tent. Look for the truck. Can't miss it. Five o'clock. Um, this is a split timed event. So we have different timelines for full and half. So let's start with the full. So arrival for captains and angels for the full is 615. All right. Uh, captains for parking. We do have space near the tent in the truck for you guys. Um, look in your email for the parking pass. Uh, you will need that in order to get into the park. Now we have the 615 time frame because um, if you do not come in, if you come in later, then um, it's going to be a little harder for you guys to get in. Um, they do close the park at a certain at a certain time. So you want to make sure you get there early. Um, so if you want to get parking right in front, if you don't care, um, you know, you can come slightly later. But that's that's very, very important. So uh, so just make sure that you guys bring that parking pass and you show it to, there'll be volunteers, not ours, but race volunteers that'll be, you know, kind of controlling traffic there. And uh, you're gonna want to just uh, show that. Uh, the parking pass is for our captains only. Thank um, you. Not sure. Yep, parking pass is for our captains only. Angels, um, you can see later on in the race day plan, a little the next page, I think, um, parking options to shuttle on in. But parking yep. passes and those parking spots are reserved for our captains only. Thank you. All right, so once you guys arrive, uh, come into the check-in area. Kelly's gonna be there at the check-in table. Um, that's where you will get your shirt if you've not yet, your angel, your captain, your volunteer shirt. That's where you can bring your cash and checks that you've collected in your fundraising if you have offline donations. You can turn that in there. Um, and then from there, you can come into the tent, enjoy some chow, get some coffee, um, get some swag. We'll have a gear check area so you can, you know, leave anything you want. Uh, it's kind of in that unique weather spot where you might overdress initially at the event. Um, you know, feel free to bring that extra clothing, but know that you can leave it at our tent right before you guys head to the start line. So you don't have to ditch it, you know, or like hang it on the side of the chair. So, um, so just know that that is available as well. Once you guys are doing that, um, between 6.15 and 6.40, we have um, time where you can start getting in the chairs, you know, get your blankets on, get your cushions on, get your, your number on, all that good stuff that happens before race day. And uh, 6.40 is our meeting that we're going to have right at the tent, right at the truck. We'll um, kind of give an overview of the day, do some introductions, pictures, and prayer. Um, that's going to last 15, 20 minutes. Uh, we'll leave a little time so on the way over to the start, uh, we can do the final bathrooms. Um, we'll make sure at least we start heading to the start around 7 o'clock. Um, it's, it's just a, it's just a little walk um, across the parking lot over into the street on, the I think, the west side of the park. So um, there's two different start areas for the full and half. They're both in the park. They're just kind of on opposite sides. So... Uh, we want to make sure we get over there 
why you ask maybe why we're going 30 minutes early, it's because we want to make sure we get in front because that's, if you didn't know that, one of the cool things about running with My Team Triumph is you get to be in the front. So, so we'll go out um, just minutes before everyone else. We'll have a really great uh, full team start um, for, again, the full marathon athletes at 730. All right, so set. So that's the full marathon. They're off at 7.30, half marathon. Um, Angels, captains, 7.45 is the time we're asking you to arrive. Um, Carla, if you could hop back on. Um, one of the things I just want to make sure is for parking for captains, because we're, we're showing on our race day plan that we'd like you there by 7.45, but I'm guessing the captains, if they want to park in the park, they're going to need to come earlier than that only because um, they will probably be closing some of those roads due to the full marathon starting at 7:30. Do you know off the top of your head right now? Yep, I am reading an email okay. <laughs> as we speak. All right. uh, let's see. You can re you go ahead and read that. I'll come back to you. Yep. Let me read. Um, okay. So, so again, same, it's a lot of the same format, guys, for the half as it is the full. So once you guys get there, check in, grab some chow, grab some coffee, uh, get some swag. Uh, we'll do our meeting at 8.15. So again, 30 minutes, we'll head over to the start. Um, it's a 15, it's a little closer, so we're gonna head, um, we're gonna head over to the start there, 9.15 start time for the half teams. Uh, one of the things I really like about the way they've changed this with the 7.30 full start, the 9.15 half start, is that the half and the full marathoners will eventually merge onto the same course, and you'll be running together for a lot of it. So the runners will finish all around the same time, um, whether it's half and full, and uh, it really makes for a, a cool second half of the race. Uh, especially as you go through campus, Blue Gold Mile, as you're going to go down, um, uh, I forget, it's like, a, I forget the name of the street, but it's this awesome street where they have, you know, bands and, you know, just inc crazy awesome picture times. It's, it's, it is one of my favorite races that I've ever done running through Blue Gold Mile. I remember having Trevor just giggling the whole time and the students were hilarious, you know, the signs and the costumes and stuff like that. You guys are going to have an awesome time awesome. going through that. Did you figure that out yet, Carla? I did. It's actually, it's listed on the parking pass. So if you okay. um, aren't taking notes right now, that's okay. okay. Um, it is open. The East Hill is open from 5 to 7.15 a.m. The West Hill is open from 7.45 until 9.30. So again, this is written on the parking pass itself. Okay. Um, so you'll have that information uh, when you get your race day plan emails. Great. Thank you. All right, so we want to also mention that around uh, mile eight, what is it, 8.8 .8 and 21.8, we're going to have a cheer zone. Um, you can see it on the map here. In the park, as the course, you're going to come under this bridge, and then you're going to snake back around on Barstow Street. So right at that kind of turning point, you'll see one of our smaller tents, <laughs> uh, which is, this is an area open to any family. So families, if you want to get out on the course and see your captains, your angels, that's a great place. We're just going to set it up in the morning. Uh, we'll have a couple of chairs out there so you guys can hang out. But uh, that's, our, that's our little cheer zone. It won't be staffed, but again, it's just for people that want to go in and check that out. So that's available to anyone. Uh, let's talk about the finish. So, guys, uh, this is an awesome finishing shoot. Um, if your captain is able to and wants to get out of the chair, um, then you can do that. So just pull over to the side of the finishing shoot. Make sure you're out of the way of the other runners. Assist your captain out of the chair and, and assist them through the finish line while another angel is pushing uh, the chair behind. Um, just have that right behind so that when you cross the finish line or if your captain needs to hop in the chair because they got a little tired, they were a little too excited, <laughs> uh, they can do that. So, uh, but that's an awesome experience if your captain um, can and wants to be able to do that. Um, if, they, if they can't or don't want to, it's, it's totally awesome as well. So 
Uh, so that's uh, finish line. It's a great time. Take your time going through that. Give some high fives. Uh, we'll be taking a lot of photos and videos at the finish as well. Uh, and then we'll be posting those and sharing those uh, with everyone on social media. Um, after you've crossed that finish line, you're going to eventually kind of snake your way through the whole finish shoot area. And uh, you can come back to our big tent. Uh, we'll, again, still have some chow for you. Uh, we know that Bernatello's is going to be there selling uh, pizza at their trailer, which supports my team Triumph. Uh, some of the proceeds for that will support the organization. So that's for sale. Um, and that'll be near our, our area as well. So you can grab some chow there. Uh, but uh, just inviting people to hang out a little bit. You don't have to take off right away, uh, but just kind of share some stories, take some pictures, um, some hugs and high fives and uh, just to enjoy the rest of the day as people finish and um, enjoying time together. So, so, um, and then if you would like to help in breaking down um, the equipment or said tent when we're done, um, we would greatly appreciate manpower for that. Um, it takes a little bit of time to load it back in the truck. Um, Likewise, if you have anyone that you can volunteer to yeah. help us, yeah, right. Break down equipment. We're, we're cool with that too. Yeah, yeah. We've got a big team and so a lot of equipment that we're, we're working on. Um, I also want to mention that we're going to have, um, we're going to have a, a person out on the course doing bike support. So Matt Jaden, one of our crew members from the Green Bay area, is going to be coming out Saturday. He's actually helping bring Mary to the race in our van and he's going to be out on the course on his fat bike. Um, so he'll, he'll have, you know, MTT gear on, he'll be checking in with you. So if you wonder why this guy's riding around asking how you're doing and you don't know who it is, that's Matt. Uh, we call him the Wolverine. Um, he's got a big beard, kind of looks like the Wolverine. So feel free to give him a Wolverine shot. Like our tent, you can't miss him. You can't miss him. The theme of the day. Yes. Can't miss it. <laughs> yes. Right. Um, also on the screen today, we show, we talk a little bit about uh, some of the parking options. Um, again, this is all included in your email. There's a few different lots that have shuttles into the park. You can take these shuttles or of course you can, you know, can walk in. Um, note that it is a hilly walk to start. The park is on a you know, on top of a hill essentially. So um, you may like that because you're going to get a little warm up. Uh, but just note that, especially for families, maybe that aren't expecting to sweat. <laughs> um, so, uh, all right. So let's move along here, guys. Uh, we showed the cheer zone graphic there before. Let's talk tips and tricks. So we want to just uh, share with you guys a few things about, you know, becoming, you know, as you're being an angel out on the course or captain, um, just a few things that we are, that we found to be very important. Uh, first of all, I wanna mention that this is not a race, it's really an experience. Um, so if you've done some runs with us before, you know this, but we're trying to create a different experience around the race. It's, it's often, you know, the goal of doing these races is how much faster can I go? What's my PR? And while that's awesome, we're not saying you know, to run for speed is bad at all, or, you know, less purposeful. Um, but, but our goal with my team triumph is really about the experience. It's about the connection that you have with your angels and your captains around race day. And with that said, um, you approach the race differently. So, you know, that means take your time, you know, feel free to walk. You know, I know some people like, it's really hard to think about walking. Like they, have a, it was like, I wouldn't want to get to a race without, without walking. And really in the long run, it doesn't matter. Um, because most of the time your captain loves to be out on the course. And so the longer that they're out there, the better. So they, they will love that. So walk, walk through the water stations, walk through cheer zones, give high fives. Um, just really enjoy the whole day. Take it in, talk to your captain, um, talk to your angels, to engage the rest of the crowd and the, and the runners um, in your team. And so, you know, that means going through a cheer zone saying like, 
let's go Trevor, you know, starting being a little cheerleader as you go through. Um, uh, Carla popped on and she's, she's a master at, uh, you know, enjoying the, the experience of race day. Carla, do you want to share anything more around that? Yeah, you're really, uh, again, this is just such a unique experience for you as an athlete. Uh, you have a team and you guys get to work together within that team and really enjoy each other's company. So I would just encourage you all to, to just take that in. My, my first race, I was really, really nervous that I was going to hold my team back and, you know, about the pushing and how much would I push and I wanted to contribute. Uh, and it really, um, you know, I learned through that process that you're tired, say you're going to walk. Uh, if you're struggling that day, it's okay. Start collecting high fives from everyone. Uh, make sure you're stopping, taking pictures, taking selfies with your captain, uh, engage them in the experience. Just really enjoy it. Uh, high energy on the course. Engage those people around you. If you're coming up to a hill and you need some help, pull someone, pull another runner on the chair with you. Um, you know, just engage those around you and, and invite them to be a part of the experience as well. And I guarantee you're going to have a really awesome time. Yes. Agree. So again, it's really about the, it's about the experience and that kind of leads to the next tip and trick that we have is as you have that different mindset, you just need to know that you are running with people, angels, you are running with people of different speeds. And although you know, we try to pair people who say, you know, if I'm a nine minute mile or we're going to put you with other people that are around that speed, you know, everyone's a little bit different. Um, so just know that when you start a race, communication is super important with the rest of your team members around how is the speed. So as you're talking to one another, if you're feeling like you're seeing someone that's continuously kind of near the back, struggling to keep up, just talk to each other. Hey, hey guys, how's the speed? Um, it just takes the first person to kind of initiate that conversation uh, because often the person that's in the back feels bad that they're maybe holding the team back, like Carla said. Um, but, but really if, if whoever, someone needs to lead as angels and really have that conversation and, uh, and really just slow down, you know, just allow, allow yourself like we're talking about to take it in. Um, you know, if you see your angels, uh, you know, falling back, you gotta, you gotta slow it down a little bit, just walk a little bit, allow them to catch up, even allow them to push a little bit so that they can set the, can set for, the for the whole team. Um, but no angel left behind is really the tip on this. You want to start together. You want to finish together. Right. Um, That's right. Yeah, so the, the third thing I want to share is that it's more of a mechanical thing. It's not uncommon that when you're going out in the race that you'll find that your chair is kind of slightly pulling left or right. Um, that's really one of the things that if you have a straight chair, it's awesome. If you have this nagging kind of pull, it'll, it'll really mess with your head. So um, you can fix that. First thing, if you notice it right away, we recommend just fix it right away. Don't go, ah, oh, it's fine. And uh, because then you'll get, you know, later on in the race, you'll get like sore and it's weird. So you yeah. can, you can fix that by just stopping the chair, um, going in the front, loosening the quick release of the front wheel and just slightly turning that wheel in the opposite direction of the pole, just little, little bits, small changes, and then tighten that back up and then give that a try. It may take a few times before you get it right. Uh, but just get that figured out um, right away and it'll help your day be much better on the course. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, as a team, when I'm running with Seth, we, Seth has his own race chair. We're very familiar with it. And we know every race we're going to stop at least two or three times within the first two miles uh, mm -hmm. just to get that chair adjusted and feeling a little better. Um, they kind of get, you know, they get moved around and transport and all that. So yep. uh, just take your time with it. You're good. Yep. For sure. Yep. Okay. Um, most important thing we want to share, guys, is have fun. This is really about having a great time. You know, uh, as you get to know your captain and your fellow angels throughout the race, um, gosh, we were talking yesterday about how it's funny how you share certain things when you're running with, when you're running with people. Uh, for some reason, the experience uh, just kind of takes people's guards down. And, uh, and I think that's a good thing. You know, it helps us be vulnerable and, and open and and, uh, and, and to get, in, get to know each other a little bit better. So just enjoy that time, you know, don't be proud, you know, be open, have fun, 
uh, and uh, enjoy the experience. All right, <clears throat> let's talk fundraising, guys. So, so we love fundraising. Why? Because it really honestly helps us put these experiences on. So as I mentioned in the beginning, we're trying to create a movement and that is uh, that movement requires honestly resources. It re and and uh, these events really help us to provide these opportunities for people to build these relationships and to help us to build this more inclusive community. Um, so we, we know that just about every $8 uh, that is raised provides one opportunity. Uh, and that opportunity, what goes into that opportunity is a number of things from a cost standpoint, such as you know registrations, insurance, and other infrastructure costs, things that are physical, things that aren't physical. Um, but we really pride ourselves on operating uh, very efficiently and very effectively, uh, but most importantly, very impactfully. And so um, your fundraising really helps us to provide not only these experiences that you're gonna have on race day, but also around the state. So we do 50 plus races around the state, more than 29,000 opportunities from training and racing over the course of the season. So it's a lot of opportunities and uh, you guys are helping to do that. So for this race, our goal is $10,000 to be raised by the team. Uh, we're doing really good at this point. Uh, so $7.7,000 raised so far. Um, so awesome job guys. Awesome job. I want to give a shout out to some of our top individuals yes. uh, and teams who are on the screen here. So we have people that are just killing their fundraising. And one of the things I love about this is the teams are setting the teams and the individuals are setting goals that are far beyond the $250 that we ask everyone to raise. So, so huge shout out to these guys. Um, Thank you. And, uh, keep up the great work. Um, race week is honestly the best time to fundraise yep. uh, because there's urgency. People know it's here. Um, you can come to the training run to, on Thursday, you, you know, you're on race day, even, even in a couple weeks after race day, that's the best time to fundraise. So I want to give you guys three tips. So to take away today that maybe you're like, gosh, I don't know how to start my fundraising, or maybe you want to just just blow your fundraising out of the water. Here are three things that we've found that are, are great ways to kind of kick that going. So, so first of all, if you've not yet, make a personal contribution toward your page. This is specifically great for people that have yet to start. So one of the things that we know from fundraising psychology is that if you ask someone to donate to your cause, they go to your fundraising page, they see that you have donated yourself, that shows them that you are committed and invested in what you are doing personally, not just because you're an angel, uh, but also because you are giving your, your resources as well. So it can be anything, 25 bucks, 50 bucks, 100 bucks, it doesn't matter, um, but personally contribute to your page, that's number one. Number two is start with the people who you know are going to be donors, that you feel very confident, five people that are going to give, and make a personal request in, you know, as you see them in person, you're having coffee with them, you're on the phone with them, you're texting them, a very personal, individualized request, um, asking them for, say, a specific amount. 25 bucks, 50 bucks, um, make that specific request. So, all right, you've given already yourself, let, you've got five donors that have, that have contributed, maybe you've already exceeded your goal already, but if you haven't, then the third thing that you wanna do is, is now you go broadcasting wide. Um, often this is the first thing that people do, but we recommend it's the last thing that you do. So. This is posting on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, whatever, whatever you use. Um, that's the time as you're getting closer to your goal uh, to post it on there. Why? Because we know that people want to contribute to something they believe is going to be successful. So if, they, if you share, hey, um, I'm looking to finish off this goal, I need 
four $20 donors and you're 75% of the way there. So fundraising psychology just shows that people will, are more likely to contribute to something that is most likely to be successful. They want to finish off a goal rather than start it. So again, you start with yourself and your close family and friends to get the goal up to that point, and then you finish it off with your friends on social media um, with those posts. Um, social media is also a great place to thank people. So as people are donating, whether it's in the initial phases or also later on, um, it's a great place to tag people in your posts, do initial, do individualized, personalized posts. You know, thank you, Gina, for, for donating to my page. Share a link. Um, you know, just it helps, again, let them know that they're appreciated and that um, their impact is going far. I also want to mention that after you do the race is a great time to go into your page and to post an update. So you all have your page, um, but it's, it's very, there's a lot of great resources that people just don't know about. So this updates feature is really cool because it's basically a blog where you can type in a post with pictures and texts and videos that update your donors. People that have donated will get an email then um, about what the impact is. So you're going to take photos and videos on race day. You're going to go into the page. You're going to post an update with these photos and videos that just share what the experience was like for you. And, and what's great about that, again, is it's going to get emailed out to everyone that's donated, and then they can see exactly how their support has made a difference. So, so those are some of our tips, guys, for fundraising. Again, race week is the best time to fundraise. Uh, we ask for this event that you guys uh, meet the goal or exceed the goal, of course, go above and beyond of that $250, uh, and we're so grateful. Let's, let's just kick this ten thousand dollar goal out of the you know out of the ballpark you know let's just boom let's just kill it so uh so keep up the great work on the fundraising um and we're gonna have a great time so last thing i want to do is open it up to any questions if you do go ahead and unmute your phone um, otherwise um you can also respond via email if you're seeing this video uh that's coming through an email Feel free to re respond uh, to that email and Carla will be able to answer any questions that you guys have. So are there any questions? Carla's doing the question dance. She's ready to answer your question. I feel like I have a dance for everything. It's a fundraising dance. Questions dance. <laughs> questions dance. <laughs> All right. No questions. All right. We did our job then. All right. Um, yeah, so guys, again, we want to say thanks for, for being involved. We're really pumped about coming up and being part of this race day experience for you guys. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be great. Um, so great. So good luck to the rest of your fundraising and your training that you guys have. Look for the final emails coming from Carla, just about, you know, all these, all race day stuff. Yeah. Um, join us on Saturday for, well, join us on Thursday for, uh, yeah, our team on Blue Ox will post more in the group about that. Saturday is the expo as well as our pre-race meeting at noon at the McPhee Center. And then, of course, on race day is the celebration. So um, we'll see you then. All right. Bye, everyone. Okay. Bye, guys. Yeah. Thank you. Bye.